Okay, so we had technical difficulties earlier, so we missed the shofar in prayer because the camera didn't want to work. But we are now in Bamidbar, hallelujah, Bamidbar, this, Numbers 10. All right. And Heya spoke to Moshe, saying, Make two silver trumpets for yourself. Make them of beaten work. And you shall use them for calling the congregation and for breaking camp. When you blow both of them, all the congregation shall meet before you at the door of the tent of appointment or the Mishkan. And if they blow one, then the leaders, the heads of thousands of Israel shall gather to you. And when you blow a shout... The camps that lie on the east side shall depart. And when you blow a shout a second time, the camps that lie on the south shall depart. They blow a shout for them to depart. And when the assembly is assembled, you blow, but do not shout. And the sons of Aaron, the Kohanim, blow with the shofar, the trumpets, and it shall be to you for a law, an imrah, forever throughout your generations. And when you blow to go into battle in your land against the enemy that distresses you, then you shall shout with the trumpets, and you shall be remembered before Heya, your Elion, and you shall be saved from your enemies. And in the day of your gladness, and in the appointed times, and at the beginning of your months, you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over your shalom offerings. So considering this part right here, I think we should blow the shofar at the beginning of every month and the appointed times. It says burnt offerings and shalom offerings, so I guess every time we do praise, we need to be blowing the shofar more. Okay. And they shall be a remembrance before your Melech Olim. I am Heya, your Melech Olim, your Elion. And it came to be on the 20th day of the second month in the second year that the cloud was taken up from above the Mishkan, of the Ad, Aid, and the children of Yisrael departed, journeying from the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. Thus they departed the first time according to the command of Heya by the hand of Moshe. Okay, this is why I'm laughing. The kitty and the horse are having an argument. <laughs> it was cute. <sighs> okay, thus they departed the first time according to the command of Heya by the hand of Moshe. And the banner of the camp of the children of Yehuda departed first according to their divisions. And over their army was Nahashan, son of Aminadab. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Yesachar was Nathaniel, son of Zeor. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Zebulon was Eliab, son of Helion. And the Mishkan was taken down. And the sons of Gershon and the son of Merari departed bearing the Mishkan. Are you itchy? And the banner of the camp of Reuben departed according to their divisions. And over the army was Elitzar and our son of Zediar, and over the army of the tribe of the children of Shimeon was Shemiel, son of Z uh, Zerishadadi, Dai. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Gad was, watch out for that, was Eliasif, son of Deuel, De and the Kishi 
Keatites departed bearing the Mikdash while the Mishkan was put before, put up before they came. And the banner of the camp of the children of Ephraim departed according to their divisions over their army was Elishma, son of Amihud, and over the army of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gamiel, son of Pedatsar, and over the army of the tribe of the children of Benjamin was Abidan, son of Gidoni, and then the banner of the camp of the children of Dan, which was formed, which formed the rear of all the camps, departed according to their divisions, and over the army was Ahizar, son of Amishadai, or Amadish, um, Amishadai, and over the army of the tribe of the children of Asher was Pagiel, son of Okran, and over the army of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Ahira, son of Enan. Such was the order of the departure of the children of Israel according to their divisions when they departed. And Moshe said to Habab, the son of Reuel, the Midianite, Moshe's father-in-law, we are departing for the place which Hayah said, I shall give to you. Come with us, and we shall do good to you, for Hayah has spoken good concerning Israel. And he replied to him, I am not going, but I am going to my own land, to my relatives. And then he said, Please do not leave us, because you know how we are camped in the wilderness, and you shall be our eyes, and it shall be when you go with us, then it shall be that whatever good Hayah does to us, the same we shall do to you. So they departed from the mountain of Hayah on a journey of three days. And the Ark of the Covenant of Hayah went before them for the three days journey to seek out the resting place for them. And the cloud of Hayah was above them by Yam, and they went out of the camp. And it came to be whenever the ark departed that Moshe said, Rise up, O Heya, and let our enemy, let your enemies be scattered, and let those who hate you flee before you. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Heya, to the countless thousands of Yeshurael. And that is the word according to Bamidbar, the eighth, or Numbers 10. Hallelujah. May it be a sign on your hands in everything you do. May it be frontlets between your eyes and how you look at everything and perceive things. And may it come out of your pay, your mouth. When you sit in your house and when you go by the way, when you rise up and when you lie down and when you rise up. And uh, may his face shine upon you this job. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom.